Well, I'm mocking it. Blizzard of 2016. The blizzard of 2016 starts slowly enough, but quickly becomes a record breaker. You clear the sidewalk and go to the basement to get rock salt. In the vestibule, I slip on icy steps, falling hard, the rock salt scattering around me. When I open my eyes, I find myself drowning in a sea of diamonds. I got a poem out of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is an older one I've been reworking a lot. It's called Terminal. It's a quiet day in Grand Central Station, and I'm killing time at the information counter, looking stuff up on the bookstore's computer. There's a sudden commotion outside the front window as a crowd of people runs up the ramp towards 42nd Street, yelling and waving their arms. Something must have gone horribly wrong in the terminal. Maybe someone has a gun or a bomb. Perhaps it's the terrorist attack we've been anticipating for so long. And just like that, they all come running back down, still shouting, just like in a Marx Brothers movie, and it finally gets the manager's attention. Now even he knows that something bad has occurred. As panic sets in, he gives the order to evacuate the store. We ask the customers to please leave quickly. A guy I work with pulls me aside and says he's going to slip out the rear entrance. Fuck everyone else. I follow him through the tunnels over to the shuttle where we exit the station. When we reach street level, we see a horrendous sight. The sky is blood red, and though it's summer, snowflakes are falling and coating everything. I figure that a plane must have crashed into a nearby building. All I want to do is flee this nightmare, but we've been told that if disaster strikes, we're supposed to assemble on the corner of 43rd and Madison, where a roll call will be taken to make sure everyone got out okay. On my way there, I stop in a bar to watch the news on TV and finally find out what had really happened. The Con Ed steam pipe exploded just a couple of blocks away and shot debris high into the surrounding sky. I toss back a few, glued to the screen, and forget all about the bookstore. <laughs> Days later, Con Edison announces that the snow is asbestos and sets up a collection point where contaminated clothes can be dropped off and put in garbage bags to be buried somewhere. But I can't afford to trash mine, so I simply wash them and hope for the best. Thank you. <laughs>